Hey everybody, it's Mama Jan. I am here with another What Not Pickup. What did I pick up? I picked up some more vinyl, this time from Treasures Quest uh, WI. I was on there and I seen an album that I would wanted and I thought about it and I looked through their albums and pretty good deals, pretty reasonable start. All right, so my grand total before shipping and tax was around 70 bucks, I believe. So I got a pretty good deal because I got like seven albums here. Okay, first one I got was Scandal. Scandal with Patty Smythe. Love this band. Again, this guy, uh, he takes everything out because he cleans it. But this one has Goodbye to You. It only has five songs on it. Love's got a line on you. Win some, lose some. She can't say no. Another bad love. This is a great album. I remember this album when it originally came out. 1982. So pretty nice. A lot of times you'll see that I do buy opened and older vinyl because I'm looking for original print, not so much reprints. And I'm okay if the cover's got a little bit of love, as I've said before. That is Scandal. Next on the list, we've got Jackson Brown. But this one is Lawyers in Love. My mother is a huge Jackson Brown fan. Back, there's Jackson right there. I have seen Jackson two or three times in concert. There's no lyrics, but I believe that is the original. No lyrics. It does have the original insert. You can tell by there. Next on our list, let's go with some great albums here. Let's see. All right, next on our list is Carly Simon. I've always really enjoyed her music. This one is an open, just has a nice big picture. It's a very nice picture. I kind of feel it's a waste when this is the outside, this is the inside. It's almost like we only had one good picture of her, so we're gonna use it twice. But we did score because this is the original insert with lyrics on it. This album is from 1979. It means I was nine years old when this came out. And and for being a 1979 album, I mean, this is pretty pristine, okay? It does have the mark here. These little notches, they usually do this, so they'll cut like a corner. You know, you send your cat, a stray cat to get fixed that clip his ear so you know. Well, these are so that uh, they know that these were discounted albums. They were sent to a record store or sent to a buyer of some sort, you know, that buys in bulk. They would mark the albums because they're now discounted because they did not sell. It's a good and a bad thing. I mean, it's a good thing because I got a nice copy here, but sadly it means they didn't sell, <laughs> you know. Or they printed too many. You know how they get greedy with things. All right, while I was at it, I was able to pick up a second Carly Simon. This one is called Hot Cakes. Again, another nice condition. Really nice, has the lyrics. This one, she looks much younger in 1974. Did they give us the same picture again? No, we got a different picture, but look at that. 1974, um, pretty, pretty young at this point. So we were able to add that one to our collection. I do use a app that I add these into. I got a little lazy. It's kind of like with Funkos, you don't want to get lazy because then you never remember where you left off. But I know that it's just my top box because I have, I don't know, quite a few boxes of albums in there. And it's the top box that I need to confirm I've entered everything. A little special one I grabbed while I was at it. This one is a picture disc of Jimi Hendrix. It does have the flag on the back. It's the 30th anniversary of Woodstock when this was released. So I really wanted to add that to my collection. This will be one of those albums that will never get displayed. That eventually, hopefully, I'll have um, somewhere that I can display them on the wall. I do have quite a few pictured ones. I just always worry about how to display them, you know? All right, second to last, we were able to add the motels. Now, if you don't know who the motels are, you're probably missing out. Uh, Martha Davis was the lead vocals. I was trying to see if it could tell me what year this was released. This one came out in 1985, it looks like. So this one was called Shock, and this was the motels. They used the, the red, yellow, and blue. Makes me think of the police because, you know, that's what the police colors they use to on their album. Able to add this to our collection. I love the motels. 
and actually that'll bring us to the next album which is the reason that I started to buy from this buyer because I said, well, I want this album for the wonderful memories it brings back. I remember, I just remember as a kid listening to a lot of motels, you know, in my mom's car, you know. Here they are with the red, blue, yellow, and green that they use. This is Martha Davis, the lead singer, along with the band. We did score lyrics, as you've seen. This one is All For One. This is my favorite Motels album. I wanted this album so bad. This one is from 1982. So I was about 12 years old when this album came out and I loved this album. They have Mission of Mercy, Take the L, Take the L Out of Lover and It's Over. Oh my God. Only the Lonely, Art Fails, Change My Mind, uh, So LA, Tragic Surf, Apocalypse, He Hit Me, uh, Forever Mine. This right here is an amazing amazing album. If you've never listened to this album, go give it a listen. It's amazing. So again, these were some albums I picked up. This was the one I wanted the most. So of course I added other ones because cheaper shipping. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Let me know if you collect vinyl, if any of this vinyl would be something that would interest you. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.